Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Uh, this is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you are new, please do click the like, share, and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, I am running a discount in the month of December. The link is in the description box below. And if there's an extended to this reading, I will leave the link below as well, but I'll let you know. All right, Virgos. Hi, everybody in the chat. So we're going to do your um, just general love reading. See what messages come up here for you guys. Um, let's see. Um, be mindful, everybody, as usual, that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest. All right. And also, um, there is a full moon reading that was uploaded yesterday. If you missed it, um, there should be a card at the end um, or a link at the end of this video for you to go over there and check that out, okay? All right, you guys, let's get into your reading. What does Spirit want you to know now that they are loud and talking to me? <laughs> what does Spirit want Virgo to know in the month of December? Messages for Virgo, okay. So you have kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. Okay, maybe you're getting a kiss. If someone's blowing you kisses. Ooh, Cupid's arrows. Have faith, Virgo. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, hmm. <laughs> so far, so good. Sunglasses. Someone is stalking you, Virgo. Someone's stalking. Focusing outward. Somebody's watching you. Okay, Virgo. What the heck is going on here? Let's see who this is. Okay, somebody's like falling in love with you. Um, they're going to reach out or there's some type of invitation or meeting that's coming up or this person wants to meet you. I just heard that. They want to meet you. Okay. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Who is this? Virgos, I know you guys are like, who is this? Let's find out who is this. Okay, jumping right out of the deck. Interesting. Okay, Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this could be an earth sign or it could be an air sign. Um, hmm. Give me just a second here. Um, okay. So I feel like this person is very lonely. They are all by themselves, feeling very lonely. Um, maybe having some family conflicts. They're just about ready to lose their house. Oh, this sounds like a great prospect. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of get a sense. This might be somebody who oh, I'm about to sneeze. Forgive me, you guys. I have like the sniffles today and I'm sneezing. So this feels like somebody who is, I just see someone who's got like real, like um, very strong arms. Um, as far as masculine, they're very muscular up top. Okay, very like big arms, strong arms. <laughs> um, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, they, all right. And as far as it being a feminine, their name starts with the letter M. Okay, so let's just keep moving. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we have water. So there's earth, air, and water. Um, okay, this person, as far as who, I feel like I've answered that to the best of my ability, but I feel like this person, I said like they're watching you, but I feel like this person is getting in shape so they can come and meet you. Are they getting themselves like, like physically fit so they can come and meet you? <laughs> like looking at you, watching you, um, this person is like falling in love or has fallen in love with you. They see you somehow or some way. And I feel like this person generally is someone who um, kind of like 
just might be a little indulgent or maybe a little um, like I just see I'm looking at this card and I just kind of feel like this is someone who's let themselves go okay and they're not very like I don't know too many burgers and fries I guess but it looks to me like they're getting themselves or they've gotten themselves in shape <laughs> They've gotten themselves in shape. They're all by themselves. They're they're like, I don't know if they're suffering from loneliness. They might, but I do feel like they're all alone. And um, I don't know. Yeah, okay. For some of you, this person is trying to like disrupt, get your attention. That's what I feel like will be trying to get your attention in December. Okay. Oh, M G the six of cups just fell out. Okay. Interestingly enough, we have no fire. So maybe that'll show up, but right now I feel like this, this is definitely going to be someone who's trying to reconcile with you, <laughs> trying to get your attention. They want you to look at them. They want you to, or will want you to see them. Um, somehow I just heard they're going to, I don't know. Uh, show up where you are okay whether that's like wh where you go to the grocery store um either they know where you work or like i don't so yeah there is definitely some stock stalking um i don't it doesn't feel creepy like be like they're behind a bush i don't feel like it's like that but it does give me a sense like you if you go somewhere um they're gonna be there and it'll feel like an accidental bumping into each other, but it's not. This person is kind of planning it. It may even be um, online as well. Like if you join some kind of a group or something, um, all of a sudden they're gonna show up in your feed. I'm just hearing in December. Yeah, so it, it, this is definitely someone who, if there was a breakup or something ended, this person let themselves go but they've been watching you or they see you somehow and um, they're like very attracted to you. They're falling in love with something that you're doing or saying or showing. And um, this person is like definitely with the nine of cups, this is, feels like, oh gosh, dreamy, kind of a dreamy energy. Um, they're getting in, getting in shape. <laughs> They, they have good health, but they've let themselves go a little bit. Like they've overindulged. There might've been, you know, if there's a breakup, sometimes that happens. People like they let themselves go other people. Uh, and then later they, they get themselves together and other people just get themselves together right away. So whatever the situation is, I do get a sense that if you know this person or you were involved with them before, they want you to notice them because they want you to see the big guns or they want you to see what they're doing to themselves. They want you to see that they've, um, the way they're dressing um, or how successful they're becoming or the goals and dreams and things like that that they're chasing after or they're overcoming conflicts. Okay, crazy, crazy. I wonder if you know who this is. I'll give you some names a little bit later, okay. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So this person has just been deceiving themselves. I I don't know if there was maybe some kind of like a drinking a lot and now they're clean. Or, um, you know, maybe they were involved with some theft or some bad behavior in their life. But this kind of feels to me like this person has been working really hard, um, physically working, labor perhaps, but also, um, I'm also hearing someone who has been running, like um, for exercise, like running. This feels like someone you know. Okay, this doesn't feel like somebody new. Um, for some of you, this is someone also that you knew in your childhood who um, wants to, or you know, when you were younger, um, or you knew them like 20 years ago or something, they wanna reconnect with you, they've seen you. And they're like, oh my gosh, look at Virgo. Look how good Virgo looks. Look how great the things Virgo is doing, things Virgo is saying. Um, or they're looking at, maybe you've gotten in shape and they're very like, just wowed by what you're presenting. Okay, 
So here we have Libra. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and the high priestess. Wow. Okay. This is, all right, give me a second. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned because I feel like YouTube does not want me saying the things that I'm saying, but you know, screw them. Um, all right, but I'm gonna say it. Um, this person either feels they've received or, okay, let me see how to say this. This, so if you connected with this person before, okay, they feel that they've received one of the best, I'm just gonna hold it up and not say it, so you can look at the letters, one of the best of their life. And, or they're dying to do that. They wanna give, they wanna give you that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you one more time. One of the best, and just put an end at the end there. <laughs> and if you're not looking at, if you're just listening to it, um, I, I'll let you just try to figure out if you have, if you can't see it, what I'm talking about. But yeah, they feel that you have given them one of the best of their life and or they can't wait to be able to do that again. <laughs> I'm a 10 year old. Okay. Well, maybe not 10, maybe 16, 15. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like you did everything right. I'm hearing, uh, it doesn't have to be those two letters. It could be, um, in reverse, you know, um, for females, you know, um, you did everything right. It was perfect. It was, it was righteous. It was just, I mean, it does feel this way. And for those of you where this is not a reconciliation, um, and this is someone that you could be connecting with. I'm not seeing anything here that says new, but I will address it. That, yeah, this is something they want to do in private. Like they kind of fantasize about that with you. Okay. Um, that's a secret. That's like a deep secret that I'm picking up in regards to this person because the high priestess is here. And that's all about the deep secrets and not revealing things. I feel like this person is like secretly... Uh, <laughs> has a thing for you or will in December when you connect with them, but you know, or if you connect with them, because I do feel like there's going to be some kind of surprise invitation from somebody here. Definitely. Definitely. I, I've never really gotten a message like that before. So whatever spirit guides with me today, you need to slow your roll. Uh, PG buddy, PG. Okay. Let me see. Also, Pisces. I'm picking up Pisces. Give me some clarification. Okay. Oh, yes. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yep. They want a new opportunity. This person is greedy about that. Absolutely. They're greedy. They want to share the secret with you at some point or be somewhere secretive with you behind the scenes, under the covers, whatever it might be. Yeah. It makes them like sideways when they think about this with you. Okay, this person is a borderline obsessed. I mean, it's definitely fantasy. It's it's definitely like they want to indulge. There's the nine of cups in this with you. And they're just like, I don't even know. I can't even say anymore. This person just wants to kiss you everywhere. Kiss you all over. I am so going to get banned. They just want to give you kisses. Okay. And they want that opportunity or they want you to give them the opportunity to, you know, have a private kind of thing with them. Just the two of you. Yeah, look, the world in reverse. This is not moving on. This is someone who is not completing the cycle. This is like unfinished business. Yeah, this is a real problem for this person. Um, so if you connected with them before... I can tell you that in December, you know, going forward from this point on right into January, um, this person like is not closing this chapter. They can't, they can't, they want another opportunity or they want this opportunity with you. Not just, so don't get me wrong. I mean, 
Okay, do get me wrong. <laughs> I don't see anything in here about love. I honestly feel like if this person is connected to someone else, um, they would cheat so they could be with you. This feels so obsessive. I, I know I, it doesn't feel like love in the sense of like, it just feels like strictly something else, something else, a little bit of play and a little bit of fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't can, listen. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm just reading the messages right now to tell you what I see coming forward here in December. Um, even if they're not with somebody else, this person is like wants to escape somewhere with you. You're just it. I feel like you're just it. Okay. They've been thinking about this for a really long time. And they've been contemplating how to kind of get back to you or, you know, connect with you. Uh, it's they want to have they want it to happen, definitely. To be there with you in private. They might be a lawyer. Someone might be psychic or, or this person might work in law. Um, or in the legal system as well, or law enforcement. Um, this person is like very jealous. They are tremendously jealous. Yeah, yeah, there's jealousy. I feel like um, if they see you with someone else or they even think about it, they become a bit territorial or jealous could be a Taurus yeah I, I feel like I'm just hearing somebody saying that you are theirs okay I don't think you have I really do feel like most of you know who this person is okay <laughs> I really do and I just feel like this person has had you on their mind for at least the last seven months or seven weeks so they see you somewhere. How does how do they see Virgo? How does how does this person see Virgo? Oh, they, well, okay. So they're saying that they've seen you with friends or with other people. They might be in a friend group that you're connected to. Um, also, maybe they see a picture of you. Um, doing some type of sport or some type of activity, physical activity, or playing some kind of a game. Uh, yeah, or some kind of sport or something. They see you doing this with like other people. It's if it's yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. It's not just you. They see you with a group of people somehow. Maybe in real life or on pic in pictures. Okay, somebody is 56. Somebody was born in 1977. And somebody's... Okay, they're telling me the number's 601. Okay. Also, um, this person... sees you oh okay that's interesting they just said um they think that you breadcrumb people <laughs> they this person virgo thinks you're a player they they think that you are a player they think that you breadcrumb others I just got this strangest message. They feel like you breadcrumb others that you're in a like a, a high status position that's how they view you as in a high status posi position and that they are not worthy um that they are they they lump themselves in with others they just want to crack at you they want a shot to be with you <laughs> i mean this is such a superficial read but i'm sure it's quite an ego boost so if it's going to be an ego boost let it be an ego boost but this this person thinks that you dictate that you they'll like get down on their knees <laughs> why are these readings like this sometimes they'll get down on their knees for you like yes master i'm not worthy <laughs> and serve 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Please tell me. Like, I feel like this person in December, that's all they're thinking about. Like, just to serve and to please you. Okay. All right. This person, all right, here it comes. Here it comes, you guys. This person is absolutely willing to make a change and cut other people out and commit into a relationship with you, 100%. I mean, you are that, Virgos, you are getting the ego boost of all time. You are getting the ego boost of all time. I do feel like this person would cut everybody else out, you see? Oh, he's cutting, he or she is cutting these and turning other people away. We'll make this change. You are like a, a golden ticket. Willy Wonka's golden ticket in the chocolate bar. You are like the jackpot for this person, right? They like they make their fantasies turn into reality. Oh, what are you, a star, Virgo? Are you like a superstar or something? Do you have like, um, like they see you as, as like you're popular or you're just... Listen, I know, Virgo, you're probably like, no, that's not even true about me. Like, I am just regular Sally who goes to work and then feeds her dog when I get home and, and I watch Netflix and I don't go anywhere. But no, I don't know, Virgo, that's fine. Maybe that's true. But I feel like this person does not see that about you. They have you on a pedestal. Okay. They will do anything for you. They are so... Uh, like their perception of you it might just be a little bit up in fantasy land but at the same time I feel like this person wants to make it out of reality okay this, they're, this, there's a falling in love energy here like oh my gosh you know the little emojis with the heart eyes uh, and then or the tongue out it's like that's how it is for them when they look at you or when they see you in, in one way or what they're watching you do okay that's crazy <laughs> this is a crazy reading oh my gosh ten of cups there you go like total wish fulfillment definitely I mean this person would be willing to have a family with you um, happily ever after do the kids they, they do the baby thing with you I mean super attracted to you Gemini energy here, Scorpio, Leo, our first fire sign, Aquarius. Um, oh, goodness. Okay. Judgment reverse with the magician. Oh, gosh. I feel like this person is going to... Um, and Gemini and Scorpio energy. I feel like this person is, how can I say this? They're overcoming. They're gonna to try to manifest something here with you. It, it feels like um, even if you don't want some kind of reconciliation, they're gonna try, they're gonna work their magic. They're going to work the magic, okay? I feel like there's a seducing energy here. So there's a little bit coming from this person in December where, um, like, their, <laughs> their fantasy, like, the, the, the illusion or um, the perception that they have, they don't want that to change. They do want to make something here a reality, but I feel like, they are going to lay everything out on the table here when they connect with you and tell you. And it's, you know, it's not something that they normally would do to reveal this kind of thing to anybody, but to you, I feel like this, you're going to hear from this person where I feel like they're going to tell you, I have had a thing for you. And I am in love with you, or I am falling, or I have fallen in love with you. There's something about you. I just have to meet you. I want to see you. I can't help myself. I'm not ready to let something go here. I just need to like feel you physically. I need to touch you. I need to kiss you. I need to hold you. 
you know, all of that energy. This is craziness. Well, I mean, it's, it's not bad though, really. I mean, it, it's just all encompassing these deep emotions and the passion here for you. Okay. <laughs> They're trying to, oh, the stress. It's the stress is getting to them. So the nine of swords in the reverse reduces back to the eight of swords, which represents this person feels imprisoned. They feel restricted. They absolutely need to get out of this and get in front of you. And they will. They will. They're coming your way. That's what this uh, Knight of Swords is here. So, you know, either they're going to show up and somehow, like, just physically ask you out. I mean, or reach out to you in some way and say these things to you. I feel like they're going to be very forward and very assertive in telling you, like, this kind of energy. This is someone, I feel like, who just really wants you either back. And so there may be, like, a reconciliation of physical intimacy with this person in December. Will it go anywhere? I mean, that's up to you. But I do feel like this person will do anything anything for you okay like down on their knees whatever pleases you they want to please you okay three of swords okay can we work through this heartbreak can we balance things out can we make a choice can we get things stable and steady okay because it's too much of a burden for me to deal with this, my heart is hurting. I don't want to be separated. I don't want this divorce. I don't want this breakup. Three, two, one, zero. I don't want this breakup. I don't want things to end. Can we bring things back into balance? I am so overwhelmed and I am so overburdened, physically exhausted. I need you. I need to get back to the Ace of Wands. I need to stop carrying. I've been carrying. Look, this person, do you see all those wands there? This person, that each one is the Ace of Wands. This person has been carrying that burden, that chip on their shoulder for that physical pleasure for you for quite some time. I'm so going to get banned here. I'm so going to get demonetized. Okay. This is not safe for work, and it is not safe for anyone under 18. All right. Oh my goodness. Yes, I want to have your baby. <laughs> I want to be the mother to your children. I want to be the the goddess, the only woman that you are attracted to, the only me uh, feminine that you are attracted to. Um, this person is incredibly attracted to you. They see your beauty. They see your... Um, your abundance they see or uh this is giving me okay that's taurus energy venus that venus energy this they see okay somebody has long blonde hair okay so either that to you and they're very attracted to that or um or it's the other person who's attracted to you has long, light colored hair. Okay. Not super, super long. It's somewhat long. Wow. Okay. Um, somebody might have a bit of a belly. I just heard like a little, a little pooch, a little belly pooch, maybe, um, a little bit of, maybe not little, maybe it's big. And also, um, top heavy, a little bit top heavy as well. Okay. And I see someone likes to sit outside in a nice, comfortable, like, I don't know, wicker chair or a chair. Enjoys to sit outside in a chair. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting. Hold on. I got to get another card because this reading is just going so crazy. Okay, death in reverse. That's Scorpio energy there. So I'm struggling this person is struggling, not me, you guys. This person is just struggling here. They can't let go. They don't want something to end. Um, they don't want this to be done. 
their hope is destroyed they feel stuck they need you like they're in a, a they're in inertia right now um things are stagnant they they can't move on and they can't move forward um yeah the death card is generally like suffering suffering in silence or suffering without you and want to bring things back into balance here and connect with you my goodness oh wow okay Aquarius energy there's a star and heal it and heal it did you guys like um i'm seeing maybe took a bath together or a shower together or um talked about doing that or were outside nude something along those lines i have to bleep so much stuff out here but why is this reading getting this way <laughs> yeah i just kind of or there was something to a special occasion or special moment where there was fireworks in the sky as well okay maybe there was like a, a lake or, or um, a pool there was um bikini or there was <laughs> gosh i need to like check I, before i start my readings i need to ask what guides are with me today because I, I, they just gave me the words a nip slip <laughs> this is awful i might just have to make this for members only but yeah okay um so i don't know this reading feels tremendously um <laughs> r-rated x-rated it really does it does and you know i know you guys are like oh kelly must be feeling i'm not i have a cold i have a headache i just want to go lay down so it's not coming from me trust me when i tell you let me see i need to get these i need to get the love messages romance angels tell me what this is here because overall virgo i just feel like this oh my gosh i just noticed something these three cards seven 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 wow this is like such a, such a jack, you're such a jackpot for this person. You really are. I mean, they just are constantly thinking about you or certain parts of your body or just certain things that you do or remembering a particular night or something that you're together. Okay. Children, that's a very playful energy there. Very soon, this person's deciding that they want you. Very soon, they're going to come to you connecting like some of you might have known this person when you were children or you have children together or you made children together and they're thinking about that okay um it, it you know it's not really deep virgo it's not super deep it's not psychological it's just an overall message that this person is so physically attracted and obsessed even to the great degree of stalking and watching they can't stop looking at you and all they want to do is be with you they they, they just the the that spark they want fireworks they want to feel those fireworks if you know what i mean make some kind of magic happen there you go passion allow your heart to sit and soul to sing with joy so there's just this passion it, it's a passion read that's really what it is it's a passion read and there's stuff going on here that i feel like you're just exuding something that this person cannot seem to uh, get out of their mind get out of their head about you maybe like i said from something from the past or they see you now and then a little bit later in december january they you know they, they come towards you and they want to connect with you or just be near you um it's crazy let me see what the hidden truth oracle is okay i want to be more than friends so some of you friendship is not enough friendship is just not enough for this person friends with benefits maybe that's what it is that's not enough for this person they want more they have good news they want to share with you <laughs> And the good news is that they're in love with you. This person's in love with you. I hide behind material things. Or oh, maybe a bush. <laughs> is a bush a material item? They hide behind their sunglasses. Okay, that's a material thing. Hiding behind um, their sunglasses, watching you. 
I'll wear my sunglasses at night. That's what's going on here. I know that I crossed the line with you. Oh, that's interesting. What kind of line is that? What line did they cross? I love you. Huh. Oh. Now, there are some of you who don't feel this way about this person. This person's obsessions got the best of them. And if you knew them before, they told you that they loved you and it scared you. But I feel like something's changed here for this person because whatever you were feeling for them before, um, uh, let me re let me restate that because I'm saying it backwards. If you weren't feeling anything, this person maybe had it more for you than you did for them. Okay. Um, the tables have turned. But what I mean is that they had more um, physical. They were more physically into you. Maybe you did love them, like you had more of a heart for them and they had more of a groin thing for you, but now that's changed, okay? Now now there's love here, okay? If this was a connection from before, right? Um, I feel like this person is kind of like, I don't know, something in the way, they're just thinking about Cupid's arrows. Listen, Cupid's arrows, you just can't explain it. It just hits out of the blue. It's almost like a tower moment. It's like a lightning bolt when Cupid's, Cupid's arrows hit. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. it. It's like if you're friends with someone for a really long time or you hear stories about that and then they don't see each other and then a year later they see each other and Cupid's arrows hit and all of a sudden they're in love. And it's like, wait, why did that? But you knew each other before. Like, why now? That's how that works. Okay. So whatever the situation is with this person, they have been struck by the bow, by the love bow. Okay. Um, whereas there might have been just a physical attraction only, but now there's love coming in. And remember I said in the beginning, I wasn't sure, but yeah, it started to show up. And that's what the deep secret, part of that deep secret is that this person and I don't know. There's something about the a physical connection that you had with them that they absolutely just love. Like they're in th that touched. I feel like it touched them. <laughs> yeah. Just being near you is intoxicating. I mean, you're like a, I don't know. You're like a, what's that old pink song? You're like a drug or I forget how it goes. Something, something to do with like your love is a drug or your love is like oxygen. I just heard that. <laughs> I don't know if that pink song, the lyrics of that, I don't know what they are. I just kind of remember the title of that. Okay. Let's try to see if we can figure out um, what names and yeah, try to see what we can figure out the names for this person because this person is just crazy about you. They see you as a star. I see you as like, I don't know, up there, you're, you're infamous. You are bright shining star and you are like unbelievable to them. They, that's the energy I just pick up from this person that they cannot believe how gorgeous you are. All right, we have the letter Z. Okay. I'm also picking up Ms. Ms. Like Miss or Mr. Okay. We have the letter G. All right. Uh, I just heard Raul. Raul. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry, you guys. I hope I don't sneeze. Okay. We have the letter A. Initial start with an A. We have a C. Okay. Letter K. We have a Q. Okay, letter M. I feel like I said M in the beginning. I did. I keep getting the same letters. Um, 
there's a P, there's an R. Okay, they just gave me the letter L and the letter T. Okay, so these are like initials. It could be combined or just separate. I'm just hearing. Let me just pick out some of the Chinese signs to see. For those of you who didn't resonate with the initials, let's see what the Chinese signs are for Virgo. All right, so someone is a year of the monkey, year of the pig, year of the rabbit, year of the ox, that's a monkey again. Year of the goat. Oh, goat twice. Year of the tiger. Oh, ox twice. Year of the rooster. And a tiger again. One more. Oh, rooster again. All right, year of the snake. Okay, so that might resonate for you. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you, could be none of you. Let's get into birth dates and see how close we can get to your reading. All right, so we have Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, and Virgo. Um, all right, September 1st I'm picking up. Also the 7th and the 8th, I'm picking up September 12th and also the 11th. Um, September 17th and September 9th. Okay, so if that resonates for you, let's see what else. What other Septembers or August? Oh, Ray, that's gone. But you know what? Hold on, you guys. What did that land on? Let's see if I can get it. That landed on September, looks like 8th, September 8th. Yep, okay. What the heck? September 5th? All right. September 14th, okay. Let me get one more, one more shuffle shuffle here. Somebody's born 1990, 1970. Okay, uh, all right, I said the 12th, somebody's 41, September 3rd, somebody's 33, also 43, and also 34, okay. Oh. Okay, yep, I'm getting the same numbers again, which usually I don't, but yeah. Did I say September 7th? I'm not sure, but that's showing up again, okay. Let me see. Let's get some charms and then I'm gonna finish out your reading. Yeah, no um, extended with this because this feels like a strictly passionate read and nothing else. Actually, before I do the charms, I just wanna get these messages of love real quick. Let's see what these messages are here. Okay. Oh, an awakening. Someone is undergoing an awakening, spiritual transformation. You bring me to life. Bring me to life. That's a song from Evanescence. That's the theme song for this person. I, I I hope. I mean, if it's good, I hope it's good. I just heard the 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 uh, title. Um, this person's like you awaken all of my senses. You awaken all of my feelings. You have awakened. You will be awakening everything for this person. You awaken my physical pleasures. Everything. A spiritual transformation. Okay, let's see. It's a little um, kumasacha kind of energy here. <laughs> okay, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Well, I think this is somebody that would forever be willing to please you. Okay, firm boundaries are needed now. The Virgo's like, okay, stop, just stop. I can I can make my own coffee. Okay, and um, you don't need to be in the kitchen naked to make my coffee for me. You can put some clothes on. I need a break. I just need a breather. Okay, I need a breather. That That's how I feel this energy is with this person. Like, it's very passionate. Maybe it is a fire sign. 
some of you, this might be a Sagittarius. Sagittarians, they have that Knight of Wands energy, you guys. That's their card in the Tarot. And that Knight of Wands energy is very lusty and free-spirited and, you know, that kind of thing going on. Okay, here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. Okay. So, yeah, I'll let you resonate with that. Let's see a couple of charms. This was a fun reading. <laughs> All right. What the heck's this? Oh, look, the King of Hearts. It's the, it's the heart card. It's the lovers. Let me see if I can hold it up for you to see if I don't, like, completely um, sneeze in your face here. Let's see if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's gonna let me focus in. It's a little, it's a little guy. It's a little person, heart on a card, like a playing card deck person. Yeah, I'd have to hold something behind it so you could see it, but yeah, that's, um, that's emotions, that's love, okay? I f always feel like that's the king or queen of hearts. Um, and you also have Saturn. Okay. Is that Capricorn? What planet rules? Saturn rules what sign? I should know. I think it's Capricorn. I can't be 100% positive, but... Um, huh. Saturn's rings. Saturnalia. The return of Saturn. Okay, that's what they're just telling me. The return of Saturn. Is Saturn in... Is there a Saturn retrograde? You guys, I'm not an astrologer. Please understand that. I, I definitely have um, psychic intuition, and I definitely um, understand the psychology of astrology, but when it comes to actual, the scientific aspect of astrology and knowing every single detail of placements and all that, I'm not that person. I probably should start studying it, but yeah, my messages are more intuitive. So there's something here to do with Saturn. I'm sure you guys might have a lot more knowledge in that area than I do. And if you do, please do share. Something here to do with Saturn. And I, I don't know if it's, there's like a retrograde and it's coming to an end and things are going to start moving forward. Um, but I also keep picking up something to do with Capricorn. And Capricorn season begins on the 21st of December. So I do feel like a lot of this energy will begin playing out as soon as we get the holiday kickoff started. Like seriously, we get like a couple of days closer to Christmas. There's going to be some type of invitation or surprise message from someone here just absolutely obsessed with you, in love with you, has fallen in love with you, is just physically needs to release and be with you and touch you and kiss you and give that all that affection and oh my gosh it's such a romantic kind of a holiday message you know um a lot of love a lot of love all right virgo so i'm gonna leave that there for you i hope you enjoy that don't forget i'm running a discount on the personal readings for um december so uh there's a 45 minute read there that's like 75 dollars off um of my one hour reading. So go over and check that out on my website, moonpytarot.com. The link is in the description box below the video. So if you want a book, they're starting to book up fast now. So go ahead and get that in. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I am going to leave the reading for you. And please do like the video on your way out if you enjoy my readings. I'm here Sunday through Thursday, 1030 p.m. Eastern is a live premiere. So yeah, that's going to be it. All right, you guys. Bye, everybody in the chat. Thank you all to the moderators. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care. Hey there, Virgo. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm running a Christmas special for the month of December. If you go over to my website, moonpytarot.com, the link will be in the description box below. You can book your December holiday special 45-minute phone reading. It's $99 today through December 31st. All you have to do is go to my website, scroll down, click right over here where it says December holiday special and click book now. It will be a phone call reading. Okay, so once you click, you can choose the date and then you can also choose the time that you wish to have your reading with me. Okay, and I will call you on the phone. 
<laughs> I will call you on the phone and we will have our 45 minute phone reading, okay? So just remember, it is $99 for the month of December. This is a Merry Christmas little gift to you from me. My readings are generally um, way higher than that. So go ahead and peruse around. You don't have to take the holiday reading, but I would grab it because they fill up really quickly. If you really want a reading, do it now. If you don't, you can, and also just know you can book well in advance. You can book your reading for December 28th if you want. Also, if you don't need a reading, you can also purchase a gift card and give a reading to a friend or a family member or someone who's special and close to you. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there for you and I will see you guys tomorrow. But just remember, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Definitely check that out. God bless spirits with you. Take care.